said by now since we are around back of the Camry when it comes to opening that rear trunk there's a couple different ways to go about doing it there is of course a button on the key fob itself it's probably the simplest way but as far as opening it up from the trunk itself it's kind of in a different position than most other manufacturers it's essentially all the way to the right up underneath there so to the right of the y just underneath so typically it's going to be in the middle for other cars out there but with this one it's kind of all the way to the right but anyways once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 15.1 cubic feet if that was not enough space, of course, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Then make our way to the rear legroom that comes in at an even 38 inches, which is a good bit for reference. I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there sitting behind my own driving position, of course. Also, for those rear passengers, they will find a rear center armrest with cup holders for every single trim level across the board. Rear ventilation also going to be back there as well. One of the things I wish, though, the Camry would have added back there are some usb charging ports perhaps just underneath the rear ventilation i know some of the competitors do that so certainly would have been nice to see that back there as well but overall back seats are certainly comfortable but then making our way to the front seats eight-way power adjustable driver's seat for all trims with power lumbar as well and this is one of the things that camry always gets 100 right is the seat comfort so i could definitely see myself taking long road trips in the camry the seats are plenty comfortable cloth finish is going to come with the le soft text upholstery with the se you will get full leather seating for the xle and xse that of course is what you're looking at right now heated front seats are going to come with the xle trim level and up and you can get ventilated front seats it is going to be optional and if you did those buttons are located directly behind the cup holders both the heated and the ventilated front seats in case you did get it but anyways taking a look at the steering wheel now it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped for the xle v6 and s SEV6 trim levels and you can get it heated although a heated steering wheel doesn't come standard it is available for the v6 trims at least then make our way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your camry logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch as well but we'll say it is all keyless entry with a push button start if you go with the xle trim level and up it is going to be optional on the other trims but essentially all i'm going to do now is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there it's simply that once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer all the way to the right, and there is a fairly large digital display front and center there. To control what is on that digital display, simply use the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there. And then of course, it's going to give you different driver information, like a digital speedometer you can display up there if you wanted to, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, that's always important. There is a compass up there, radio settings, different safety features when you need your next oil change, the list goes on, but basically everything you would possibly need up there and also your driving modes i should mention that as well it's going to be displayed up there too now touching on overall interior quality you will get a panoramic glass roof if you were to go with the xle or xse v6 trim levels of course that is what you guys are looking at right now it goes all the way into the back seat so that's definitely a good thing overhead sunglass holder is available on certain trims as well home link controls coming with the xle and xse trims they are located on the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors there dual zone climate control coming with the xle trim level and up you will get a wireless phone charger once again with the xle trim level and up you're going to find aluminum sport pedals for the trd trim along with some additional red stitching throughout the interior as well with that trim level ambient interior lighting for the xle trim level and up and overall it's finished just fine i have no issues with the way the camry is finished here you do have some nice stitching just above the passenger side glove box there's a little bit of plastic but at least there's a design to it just above that so i like that just in front of the shifter there's a wireless phone charger that has fit my phone perfectly i have the samsung galaxy s20 plus in case anybody was curious so it does fit my phone perfectly fine there is a usb charging port along with a 12 volt power outlet just in front of that just to the the right of the shifter you have two cup holders there's an electromechanical parking brake and actually a good bit of storage within that center armrest as well and by the way within that you do have a usb charging port and then a regular phone charger in there as well but overall interior quality is just fine for me and the seats really make it worthwhile because the seat comfort is absolutely amazing in the camry so i will say that but so then touching on now the infotainment screen of the camry there's going to be two different configurations you can get in this one there is a seven inch color touchscreen display for the lese and se nightshade 
Then there is a nine inch color touchscreen display for the XLE trim level and up. And of course that is what you guys are looking at right now. Either way though, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming. You still get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay that comes for even the bottom trim level, which is important. That means you can hook up your smartphone to the Camry and therefore have free navigation displayed up on that infotainment screen. You can also like and dislike your Pandora songs and there's a couple other compatible apps as well. If you wanted the factory navigation system because maybe you didn't have a smartphone, that is going to be optional for the V6 trim levels if you wanted it. You can of course check out your driving statistics up there too, along with your radio information. And so when it comes to this sound systems here for the Camry for the most part you get six speakers for the LE, SE, SE Nightshade, XLE, XSE and TRD trims. However if you were to go with either the XLE V6 or the XSE V6 like we have today you will actually find a nine speaker JBL sound system with a subwoofer with an external amp as well. So having said all that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and Let's test out the clarity of this one. That sound system was wonderful. Wow. That was really good. There was a good bit of bass. The clarity was good. It felt like it was coming at you from all directions. That was a really, really good sound system for the Camry. I got to be honest. I mean, if you like music, you definitely got to go with the JBL on one of those two V6 trim levels. That was great. I liked it. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display, at least, is when you do put the Camry in reverse, you, of course, will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. There is also a 360 degree monitor that is going to be available as well. That is going to be that bird's eye view to the right there you guys are looking at. So all of that letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start when it comes to the Camry, this is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS, so that's always a good start. Front side side current airbags do come standard, driver and front passenger knee airbags as well, that doesn't always come standard. Rear seat mounted side impact airbags in the back, that's usually like a $300 option on BMW, so love that the Camry gives you that too. But really all the fun comes in with the advanced safety, and by the way, all of this is going to come standard on every single trim level. It is is going to be what Toyota calls their Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus, which includes a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, letting you know the speed limit of any given road that you're on, that's always nice, and dynamic radar cruise control as well, which is a wonderful thing. If you've ever had the experience of testing that out, it steers for you, it brakes for you, it's crazy. But anyways, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert is going to come with the XLE trim level and up then, and that's really the last thing I wanted to mention there. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new Camry, great fuel economy when it comes to the four cylinder at least, which is good for the size of the Camry, quite honestly. Of course you got great reliability everybody knows that this is a vehicle that can very possibly last 300,000 plus miles available all-wheel drive is absolutely wonderful i wish everybody else did that too wish the honda accord did it i wish the sonata did it i wish the kia k5 did it so the fact that toyota put all-wheel drive on the camry i think is a wonderful thing especially living in pennsylvania trd trim offering is definitely pretty cool for the camry as well when it comes to room for improvement of the camera, I always have to have something. The front end is still a bit polarizing to me. I'm kind of 50-50 on that. Having said that, the side profile is wonderful and the back is really, really good as well. If only they would tweak the front end a little bit to appeal to more people, I would definitely say exterior styling would then be perfect. Also, overall, this is a very competitive segment being this mid-size sedan segment. You got the Honda Accord, which is an absolute blast to drive. You have the Mazda 6, which is super luxurious on the inside. You have the tech-loving Hyundai Sonata with its digital gauges and digital key and all that fun stuff. And then